To get more than 2000 likes at this videos we will upload more patriotic news just now. First full Supreme Court ruling in over a year has Obama furious. The full panel of nine Supreme Court justices met Monday to decide the fate of a case with very close ties to Barack Obama and the Democrats. The Supreme Court ruled 5-4, with Justice Gorsuch casting the tiebreaker, reports Trendify. They decided that the only part of the Islam history taught to our children in public schools will be the one of radical Islam and what they can do to help stop it. Judge Gorsuch, in his first opinion for the High Court, wrote, The government certainly has no business being involved in religion, but this I isn't a government issue or a religious issue. This is about the judicial branch interpreting the laws as they apply to the teaching of religion. We should be teaching any religions in this country besides standard Judeo-Christianity, as our founders wanted, and we certainly shouldn't be filling the children with lies about Islam being a religion of peace when they see the carnage on the news almost every day. He added, IT is our duty as Americans first and judges second to safeguard the way our children are indoctrinated. The Obama administration, after winning this case on appeal in the 17th District Court, has remained with no power or any influence and friends in the judiciary. With this ruling ends the teaching of Islam in public schools, which is a major hit to Obama's beloved Muslims. This is an addition to the ruling from just a week or so ago that forbids the teaching of Islamic tenets or Sharia as a part of world history as well. This is major win for our country and Christianity. Thank God for our president and his new appointee. Now we can get back to respecting our true values and the normal, everyday worshipping of the only real caught. These 32 senators betrayed our country make this go viral. The U.S. Senate still pushes the idea to import tens of thousands of unskilled foreign workers annually, despite the fact that the voters made it clear during the elections that they want American workers to be top priority. According to a letter sent by a bipartisan group of senators to Department of Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly, which was recently reported by Breitbart, they urge Kelly to do everything he can to make sure every H-2B blue-collar visa to be granted to an eligible business in need of cheaper labor. This request was made after the return of a cap on the program that limited H-2B visas to only 66,000 annually, which is a clear decrease from the 264,000 visas authorized under the 2016 budget. That number was lowered in order to reach normal level after an incredible backlash from voters. Republican North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis and Democrat Virginia Senator Mark Warner wrote a letter which was joined by 30 other senators who demand from DHS Chief Kelly to conduct an audit of the H-2B program and ensure that any remaining visas are properly issued to eligible businesses. The senators demanded for any unused visas from the first half of the year be applied toward the second half, since they fear that the decrease lowered cap for the year would soon be reached citing figures from 2015 which revealed about 5,000 H-2B visas went unissued. According to Numbers USA, the H-2B visas are mostly granted to unskilled foreign laborers who work in a variety of low-skilled jobs that could be done by American unskilled workers without the education or experience to obtain higher-paying jobs. What's more, out of 32 senators who signed the letter asking for more unskilled foreign labor in the American job market, 21 of them are Republicans, with the remaining senators being 10 Democrats and one Independent. Besides Tillis and Warner, the 30 senators who signed the letter are, John Barroso, R. Way, Michael Bennett, Deco, Roy Blunt, Armo, Richard Burr, RNC, Maria Cantwell, Dewa, Ben Cardin, DMT. Tom Carper, D. Ida, Bob Casey, D. Pa, Bill Cassidy, R.L.A., Thad Cochran, Armas, Chris Coons, Dita, Susan Collins, R. Me, John Cornyn, R.T.X., Mike Kinsey, R. Way, Corey Gardner, Arco, Lindsey Graham, R.S.C., Orrin Hatch, R. Ut, Johnny Isakson, R. Ga, Angus King, Imi, Amy Klobuch, D.M.N., James Langford, R.O.K., Jerry Moran, RKS, Lisa Murkowski, RAC, Patty Murray, Dua, Pat Roberts, RKS, Mike Rounds, RSD, Tim Scott, 
RSC, Dan Sullivan, RAC, Roger Wicker, Armas, and Ron White, D. Orr. Clearly, the senators put the wealth and well being of foreign guest workers and the businesses that employ them above the needs of the millions of out of work Americans. Many of them would willingly accept jobs in the construction, landscaping, hotel, restaurant, and food processing industries. Given the fact that the 2018 midterm election cycle is near, part of the senators who purportedly serve the American people may be up for re election and could face many challenges. seconds ago. If Kellyanne is right, then this Democrat will lose his job tomorrow morning, well deserved. Democratic Congressman Cedric Richmond made the crudest, rudest remark about presidential senior advisor Kellyanne Conway and to be honest, the expression chauvinist is excessively kind for this liberal. In spite of the fact that news outlets like CNN have disregarded this remark, Different sources like Liberty Writers News have lifted it up and put it crosswise over online networking. It's social occasion force. Here is their report, Democratic Rep. Cedric Richmond, Law, made a crude joke about White House senior advisor Kellyanne Conway on Wednesday night during the Washington Press Club Foundation dinner. Richmond joked that Conway looked familiar in a position on her knees, referencing a viral photo of Conway kneeling on a couch in the Oval Office. The Daily Caller reported. You even mentioned Kellyanne and that picture on that sofa, Richmond said during his speech to Republican Senator Tim Scott, SC. I really want to know what was going on there because she really looked kind of familiar in that position there, but do not answer. Kellyanne Conway is not only a brilliant businesswoman, she is also a mother. To make a comment like that shows that you do not have the integrity it takes to serve the American people. The Democrats continually blame conservatives for pursuing a war on ladies. Is it true that you are joking? These censorious remarks are being required by Democrats. Furthermore, we think they are unsatisfactory and merit a quick and extreme striking back by the American individuals. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share the truth, be patriots. Thanks for reading. The truth is out. Ruth Bader Ginsburg gets horrible news, she deserves worse. If there is one thing we can congratulate our president on, it is his ability to remain completely unpredictable when it comes to dealing with America's enemies. He never lets anything get away from him, or ruin his agenda to make the country great once again. And even if someone, by accident, tried to cross him, they got a huge slap back. Now, Trump is stepping forward with a huge deal announcement that will cause havoc among his haters. Trump's family friend and associate, Chris Ruddy, who is also CEO of Newsmax, noted that the president might crush every Democrat's dream with a brand new deal, to remove Ruth Ginsburg from position. Ruddy said, I think they made a big mistake by pulling the nuclear option. I wrote about it. I said they should not have done it. I think that he still should pick Merrick Garland and do a deal. Ruth Bader Ginsburg wants to retire, and I think they should swap her out, give her an offer where they would put Merrick Garland on the Supreme Court. They would remove a very liberal Democrat with a moderate, consensus Democrat, who I think Garland is, Ruddy added. And I think it would be a huge move and a sign for Trump that he is willing to break through the political ice. Although this has not been confirmed yet. We were all hoping to see Ginsburg go. As reports state, Ginsburg might not be able to carry on, due to health issues, but Trump will certainly find a decent replacement. It is just a question of whether the POTUS wants her out. The majority of people would agree that Garland is a far fitter option for the position. It is important to pick well so Trump can conduct his agenda in peace. Do you support Trump's possible deal plan? Game changer right after Bill O'Reilly fired, Sean Hannity gets devastating news, you'll be shocked. A large number of Fox News fans were crushed on Wednesday when Bill O'Reilly was unexpectedly fired from Fox News after various inappropriate behavior claims against him were spilled to people in general. Presently, another well-known Fox News host is in peril.
The Washington Examiner detailed that a columnist for the New York Times recommended on Thursday that Sean Hannity could be the following host fired by Fox. This claim was made by journalist Jeremy Peters, who said Rupert Murdoch's children are attempting to take the system in an alternate course. I think you have to look at somebody like Sean Hannity, Peters said, and question whether or not his almost propaganda-like attitude and programming every night is going to be acceptable in the minds of the family which is clearly trying to shift the network in another direction. Hannity is known for being one of Donald Trump's greatest champions in the media and is presently the longest-running host in Fox's prime time lineup taking after O'Reilly's ouster. We can dare to dream that Hannity is not let go next. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share the truth, be patriots. Thank you for